Hey guys, so I hope you're well and having an awesome day today. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys what I brought back from Disneyland Paris. Um, obviously we were there from the 22nd till the 26th, the Thursday to the Monday, for Run Disney, the first ever Run Disney event held in Disneyland Paris. So obviously I did the 5k and the half marathon and... Yeah, um, I, I didn't really bring a lot back from the trips. I have a few things from the races that we kind of got um, that I'll show you guys as well. But in terms of actually buying stuff, I didn't really shop a lot this time. I liked about, but a lot of it I either like they didn't have my size or um, I just didn't really want it enough to actually like pick it up that time round. But I will show you guys what I got. Um, and hopefully after this video the vlogs from that trip will be up super soon now. Um, I'm still working on editing and everything like that so hopefully they will come to you guys really soon and I hope you enjoy them but for now let's have a look at what I bought eh? Yeah? Okay? <laughs> so first up I'll show you guys what we kind of got for the races so first off we obviously had to go and get bibs you need a bib number if you're taking part in a race um so this was for the 5k um and this was obviously themed around um a ratatouille so that's why remy is on there and obviously you just have your number that kind of stuff and this one was for the half which just has mickey mouse and the castle on it um these are really really cute and obviously i just thought i'd keep them because it's my first ever one i don't think i'd keep them for every race but I don't know. <laughs> um, so next up is t-shirts. Um, every race you sign up for you get a t-shirt. You have to tell them your size when you're signing up and um, they're very much just like the bibs. So the half marathon t-shirt is this kind of charcoaly grey um, like more um, sportwear type material and it just has the Disneyland Paris half marathon with Mickey in the castle and then on the back it's just like the sponsors of the event um, so that's the half one um, which I haven't worn yet so I don't know how comfy that one's gonna be um, and for the 5k it's more of like a cotton type regular t-shirt as well with the kind of Remy logo with the castle um, Disneyland Paris 5k and again with the sponsors on the back um, but they say run Disney on the um, on the side of the shirt which is super cute uh, I don't know I think this one says it yeah that one says it as well <laughs> this one's really really comfy I wore this on the day of the 5k and it's so comfy and the last thing that we got was our medals so I got two medals because obviously I did two races so this is my 5k medal if you can see that which is Remy and it just says Disneyland Paris 5k so there he is in all his glory with the castle in the background which is so cute and the ribbon is just uh, Disneyland Paris 5k um, with like some kind of um, spoons and forks and stuff like cutlery because obviously it's Remy um, for Ratatouille and the half marathon medal is a lot heavier um, they don't do the 5k rubber medals anymore I think because they'd already been done that's why we get given them but they did change that about a month or so before these races so from now on 5k medals will be I believe this type of um, material um, which is obviously like solid so this is the Disneyland Paris half inaugural if I'm saying that wrong I apologize and it says 2016 and it's just Mickey and the Sleeping Beauty castle at Disneyland Paris and this um, is super cute I love this because it's got loads of Mickeys and loads of um, sparkles and it just says Disneyland Paris half, um, half marathon with um, some logos at the top which is just obviously that's the wrong way around <laughs> um, so yeah um, I'm super proud to have actually done this one. I knew I would get the 5k, but to actually have this, um, <laughs> it's something else. It's pretty special. I'm just so chuffed to have done these and gotten these medals. These are my first ever um, Run Disney medals. It was my first ever Run Disney races. And yeah, I'm just super chuffed and proud of everyone, not even myself, just like everyone who took part in these challenges. Um, it was just it was such an incredible experience to be there for the first one um, and I just can't thank everybody enough who actually supported me in doing this because there was a lot of naysayers 
I proved them wrong. Um, and for everybody who came out and supported everyone who done the races as well, thank you guys so much and to all the cast members as well who were so so amazing with handing out water and drinks and snacks and just cheering you on the entire way. Like that pushes you, it definitely pushes you to finish. Otherwise I would have like sat on the ground somewhere and given up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I got from the races. So let's actually show you guys what I got in the parks. Um, so one of the first things I knew I wanted was ears. These are my new ears. Um, basically I stupidly forgot to pack ears for this trip. This is the first time I've ever done that and I don't know what was going through my head when I was packing. So I bought these ones. These are the sparkly Minnie Mouse plain black with the red bow um, ears and they're actually a lot comfier than what they look. Um, so I'm going to pop these on for the rest of my video. These are actually a lot comfier than the silver ones I brought back the last time so I'm super glad I picked these up. So yay! Um, hopefully next trip I'll have I'll be adding the Halloween ones to my collection, so, um, but these will do it for now. So one of the first things I knew I had to get when I was over there is this. So you guys can see this. It is a little mini Disney castle ring. You're probably thinking if you've watched one of my hauls before, Becky, don't you already have that ring? I had this ring and I lost it. So yeah I stupidly binned it so I had to pick up another one because I'm an idiot but at least I have it and I'm hopefully going to be a bit more careful with this one. Another thing that I picked up was this cup. It's a BB-8 cup. I just thought it was super super cute. I wanted the mug when it was in the Disney store but I don't really drink from mugs so this was the better option. It's so cute like oh, it's BB-8 and he's adorable. Oh. Um, so next up I bought a keychain. Um, I bought a keychain, I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought like a little mini bell. They've been bringing out these little rubber keychains and they're so cute. They've brought out so many more since the last time we were there. And I spotted this little guy and couldn't leave without him. So this is the Stitch one, he is so adorable. They're quite big actually for keychains, but they have a lot of detail in them and they're just so adorable. They are... Six ninety nine, so they are seven euros each, and they are so worth it because they are adorable. Next up is some pins. I always come back with pins, and this time I ended up just picking up Halloween pins. I didn't want them to sell out before I got there for my Halloween trip, so I picked these up. Plus, there wasn't really any other pins that I wanted to pick up, so um, I got this Mickey Mouse pin, um, who is dressed as a ghost. How cute is that? Oh, he's so adorable. And the other one was, this one was more expensive than the Mickey Mouse pin, I know that, because this was like the rose pink. And these are like two pins. Um, you can count these as two pins. Mickey dressed as a witch and Figaro the cat in a little pumpkin. Um, anyone who knows me knows how much I love Pinocchio and I absolutely adore Figaro so much. And to have a pin with Figaro on it. I had to have it, so I picked these up and those are the only two pins that I bought from this trip. So next up is something that I didn't even think Disneyland Paris would get for a while. It is from the company Tag that just opened up a store in Disney Springs in Walt Disney World. Um, and they make like luggage tags and luggage things. And I bought this luggage tag for my suitcase. And it's Pluto. And then on the back it's obviously just um, for your details and stuff like that. These were $9.99 each. They had a Pluto one, a mini one, and a Mickey one. Um, that's the only ones we've seen, but I had to have this. It's so adorable. Um, and it just clips onto your case. So yeah, um, I definitely checked this out. And they had like a few other things as well, like um, like stuff for makeup and toiletries and all that kind of stuff. And anything for like traveling, that is what they do. And I just had to have this one. So yeah. Um, another thing I bought was... Um, a Disney baby, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Disney babies. They're like the characters um, as like little baby plushes with the little blankets around them. I have one and that is Pegasus, which I bought from Disneyland Paris about two years ago. Yeah, two years ago now. Um, so I found this and right as I came off the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, I found the little dog baby. You know the little dog that carries like the keys in its mouth and I love Pirates of the Caribbean. It's one of my favourite rides, one of my favourite live action movies. And this little dog is like so cute. And the best part about it, so he's got like this little lock here on his blanket and the blanket's covered in like skulls and stuff. 
which is so cute and it obviously says Pirates of the Caribbean down here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then if you open it up, he's got the keys in his mouth, how cute is that? Like, and he's so soft as well, he was £22.99, um, so €23. Euros but worth every penny. I am so in love with him and I cannot believe that they brought this out. I'm just, oh, he's so cute. I can't even deal and he's so soft and fluffy and I love him so, so much. And he's one of my favorite things about Pirates of the Caribbean just because he has these, these keys that everybody wants and it's like, nope, my keys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so definitely look out if you like plushies and stuff like that. Keep an eye out because Disneyland Paris have just brought out a lot of these. Um, loads of different characters and they're so adorable. So definitely pick one up for yourself. Um, so the last thing I bought is actually something that I didn't really think to buy um, when I bought my annual pass. And that is the Photo Pass Plus service. Um, if you guys can see that. So it's just a card you hand over it when you're getting photos done and all your photos are on this. I went we had so many cards throughout the weekend you know like photo pass just give you cards if you don't hand them anything um so we had so many and at the end of the holiday on the last morning we were like let's go view our photos and um basically I ended up buying this so this is basically um it's kind of like an annual pass for photos you pay one amount, I think this cost us 40 euros because of our annual pass discount, usually it's 60. Um, and you basically get this card, you hand it over every time you can see a photo pass person who's taking your pictures with the characters. And this lasts you a full year. And what you can do is you go online or you can download the app, we have the app as well now on our phone. Um, and basically all of your photos that are connected to this, so they take your photo, they scan this card, and then all of your photos will be able, you'll be able to view online or on the app and download them straight to your phone. So yeah, I would definitely recommend your PhotoPass Plus if you're an annual pass holder because it's the full year, you get it all year round, all your photos, straight to your phone or your laptop, whatever, and it's just actually such a good thing to have. I don't know why I didn't consider it sooner, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. So definitely look into it if you're heading to Paris and you know you're going to be there for at least a couple of trips. Um, but that is it. That is all I bought back from my Run Disney adventure. Um, it was such a good weekend. I just, I it was such a magical time. I just hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs. I hope I caught enough magic on the vlogs because uh, I probably didn't, but... It was so much fun and I can't wait for you guys all to see it and experience it and to head out with us on our next trip which is our Halloween trip. Eek! So excited to dress up um, and I hope you guys will enjoy those as well and um, make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Links are at the end and down below and you can follow me along there live when we're in, when we're in Disneyland Paris. Um, and I hope you guys just enjoyed this video. So give it a big thumbs up if you did. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I put out new videos every Friday and I will see you guys real soon.